Manus 1.5 claims to be the most capable autonomous AI agent, tasks complete four times faster than April, builds full-stack web apps through conversation. MIT Technology Review and TechRadar both tested it. Let me investigate if this delivers genuine autonomy or overpromised automation. The platform comes from Chinese startup Butterfly Effect, launched March 2025. Unlike ChatGPT requiring constant prompts, Manus breaks complex goals into subtasks and executes independently. You assign work, disconnect, return to completed results. That asynchronous operation is legitimately different from traditional chatbots. MIT Tech Review tested it extensively. Reporter assigned three tasks, including compiling 50 nominees for innovators under 35 list. Manus succeeded, but admitted getting lazy on first attempt, delivering only five names with honorable mentions. When pushed for consistency, it produced comprehensive 30-person list. That self-awareness about cutting corners is both impressive and concerning. The apartment search task showed limitations. Manus interpreted outdoor space too literally, excluding properties without private terraces. After clarification, it compiled helpful tiered recommendations. The back and forth required human judgment. This isn't fire and forget automation. It's collaborative assistance requiring oversight. Version 1.5 improvements are substantial. Average task completion dropped from 15 minutes to under 4 minutes. 15% quality increase in internal benchmarks. 6% user satisfaction boost. Those are measured improvements, not marketing fluff. The web development capability is genuinely impressive. Full stack scaffolding with backend servers, user authentication, integrated databases, and embedded AI. Manus can test applications like real users, detect issues, fix bugs autonomously. That goes beyond typical AI website builders generating static pages. But there are real problems. Server crashes under load. Only 1% of waitlist gets access, despite 186,000 Discord members. System occasionally loops endlessly on tasks. Terminal errors refund credits but waste time. The beta limitations are significant. Pricing is reasonable compared to alternatives, around $2 per task versus OpenAI Deep Research costing 10 times more. Subscribers get 50% discounts on light version. That's competitive if it actually works reliably. TechRadar compared it to ChatGPT and concluded Manus excels for researchers and designers needing deep analysis, but ChatGPT remains better for everyday users. That's fair assessment. You don't need autonomous agents for simple questions, but complex multi-step projects benefit from Manus's architecture. The invite-only status creates artificial scarcity. Reports of people paying millions for beta invites seem exaggerated, but the exclusivity generates hype. Whether that's protecting server capacity or manufacturing demand is unclear. For legitimate autonomous task execution, Manus delivers more than typical AI assistance. It genuinely operates independently on complex workflows. But it's beta software with crashes, limitations, and learning curves. Not magic, just advanced tools requiring skilled users. Manus 1.5 is real innovation with real limitations. Treat it as capable intern, not infallible employee. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products. And honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, 
is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.